The Switch has tons of games on it at this point. Like, a lot of games. Especially on the eShop, where indies from across the world have been bringing their finest games to sell. So, as a gamer, it can be quite hard to find the ones that are actually worth playing. So, in this series of videos, we're going to go through some of our favourite Switch games. Mainly, smaller ones that you might have not found already, might not have played already. Um, not, you know, we're not going to talk about Mario in this series, not going to talk about Zelda, you know, we know that you've played those already. And so the first one we're going to look at is one of my favourite rhythm games on the system, which is Just Shapes and Bees. Because of the extreme amount of bass, listener's discretion is advised. <laughs> Just Shapes and Beats is a rhythm game that merges rhythm games with a bullet hell structure of level that's really cool and it has just this beautiful art style that blends there to make a game that is really simple as the name would imply but becomes more than its sum of its parts as a result. Uh, for the most part there's only two things you can do. You can move, you can dash. And that's really simple. You want to move out of the way of the objects and uh, bullets and things like that and you can dash to travel through them uh, but it's a set length so you have to make sure you're not dashing into something else as well. Each level has an almost completely unique combination of elements to be avoided. They not only appear and need to be avoided in time of the music but often play into the track that is playing in the background in incredibly well crafted ways. Whether it's a quiet setup for a louder response in the music, similarly getting a smaller and then larger wave of obstacles. Usually this is shown by a kind of almost water looking effect where something will fall into it and splash it up. And other times it'll just be a boss blasting out waves of projectiles in time with the notes playing in the song. It's an incredibly simple mechanic that is made fun by this differentiation in the levels itself. Even though you're not doing a whole lot of different things, the levels are throwing different things at you to be avoided with your simple movements. It's just this really simple and elegant bit of game design and the fluidity of the animations that show it is kind of part of what makes it great. Just Shapes and Beats is a very accurate name because it is made up of just shapes. Everything's made up of simple shapes, combinations of circles and squares and triangles. They're vectors that are just animated very smoothly in a really nice way that gives them far more personality than you would expect from a circle or a square. You can see from look, from the video that's running under this just how amazing this game looks in motion. It's fantastic. It's everything is so fluid. Everything reacts in a way that makes it feel alive, even though it's just squares and circles. It's fantastic. It manages to convey like so much personality to a world and to characters because this game has characters in it. This has a full story mode that is not super in-depth, like it doesn't have a uh, you know, in-depth story, there's no dialogue and stuff like that, but it has enough to get you going, it, it, it manages to convey a really interesting world just through the motions of its characters. And this isn't limited to just in the levels itself, there's an overall map that connects all of the levels and often gets pulled into the gameplay as well, where story beats happen in that overworld and turn the overworld into a level itself for a brief period of time where you're moving a ship around, dodging things, or uh, going into a factory area and having to time your progression to get to the next level, never mind you know, the progression in the level itself. It's just incredibly, incredibly smart. And then on top of all this, there's a really fun multiplayer mode where you can go online. Uh, I believe it also has local multiplayer as well. I only actually played it online, so I'm not 100% sure. And there'll just be a bunch of you jumping around, dodging all things on the screen at the same time. And 
reviving each other if someone goes down. And you end up with these cool moments of just people making mad dashes back through a level that they already struggled to get through the first time to try and save someone, even though they kind of don't need to. It doesn't really change that much. People respawn after a while, but it's just a, a fun thing. Like You feel like you've got to help the person before, and everyone I've played with online has seemed very nice. They don't like rush ahead and just you know mess about too much, which is pretty good. Um, it's incredibly difficult. It's incredibly simple, and it's honestly one of the games you should own on your Switch if you like rhythm games at all. So that's just Shapes and Beats. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, please like, subscribe, all that nonsense. Uh, but more importantly, leave a comment below suggesting like other games that you might want to see in this video series. Just, you know, think of it as you know, smaller games that you think other people might have missed on the Switch that you enjoy. Hopefully you're gonna get a few of these up soon and kinda go through some of my favourites because I've been playing a lot of indie games on the Switch. So, see ya!